Hey guys, welcome back to the Thrifty Christian YouTube channel. In this video, I just want to talk about a little something that's been bothering me about this new uh, eBay glitch. I've given it a lot of thought and I've watched a few videos from other from the other um, more well-known YouTubers and I've seen all the comments. I've kind of put some comments in there myself, but I've come to a conclusion and I want I want you guys that are watching this channel I want you to think about it think about what I'm gonna say here never before in our history have we been given the opportunity to literally be able to change our lives with this device this device has enabled us to well let me just say for me for me it has enabled me to be able to quit my job that I hated that I've been doing forever and run a full-time or make a full-time income from right here in the comfort of my own home. So for me to complain about glitches that happen on eBay, like I've complained before, has done me no good. And here's, here's, here's why I'm kind of looking at this. With the opportunity that, that I've been given, I can't really say anything bad because all I need to do or what I should stay focused on and what you all should stay focused on is simply continuing to refine your business and create fail safes for when things like this happen. Now, what I did was basically the last time it happened and before this, in order to scale this business up, I hired VAs. Okay. So now at this point, I have the VAs that can go in and do that monotonous work for me. Is it going to cost me? Yeah, it's going to cost me. But is it worth it? Of course it is. Because it's just part of the game. And here's what I believe will happen inevitably. eBay inevitably will be taken over if they don't change things. If they, if they don't stop doing this, the only people that eBay is hurting right now at this moment in time other than maybe the single mother or single father you know that's making you know a, a little meager extra income doing this um, they're just basically hurting themselves because like we all know um, when we go to the bins or when we go out and we meet other people you know we're, th that are just getting into this those people are influenced by us by those of us who have been doing this for a while. And the one thing that we can do to hurt eBay in this case, not that I'm saying you should, but it's going to happen eventually and it's going to catch up to eBay is to say negative things about the platform. Because when I think about it, all of the people that I've met, a great majority of the, of the sellers that I've met, whether it be in the bins out in public or whatever, I asked them the first thing that I asked them, I'm like, okay, well, what's, what, what platforms do you sell on? And a great majority of them tell me that they don't sell on eBay simply because they're intimidated by it. They don't like the shipping. They don't like how it's organized and they're just greatly overwhelmed at how hard and, and technical it is to list on it. Now, those of us who have overcome that, and our sellers on eBay, congratulations to us because we did what the greater majority of what I'm meeting out there have not and choose not to. So before we start to complain, let's just think about that. Let's think about that for a moment. Yeah, is it a headache? Is it a pain in the butt? Yes. Nobody wants to do this. This is the third one that I can think of that has happened. The first one was the photos debacle where eBay lost hundreds and hundreds of our photos. The second one that kind of went unnoticed, and I don't know if you guys can confirm this with me or not, but I noticed it and I even made a video about it. Um, it was when they added the California Prop 65, I believe it was. That little box that they put in there for California, they did it magically overnight by the way too. I was kind of surprised at how quick uh, the government had some authority over them and getting them to put that in there really fast. 
uh, because we've asked for certain things that we still haven't got yet. So kind of kind of worried about that one, kind of wondering, still shaking my head. So that was the second one. And the third one is this one, where just some simple change of how they want the platform to look and how they want the item specifics laid out. And it's funny enough that the last two have happened in the item specifics. Uh, with the California uh, Prop 65 or whatever that was, it threw out your um, style. It was the style of the, the, the item that was tossed out. And when you went to relist the item, you had to go back in and fill in what style of clothing item it was. So not, not a lot of people talked about that one. But in the long run, I believe that eBay is only really just shooting themselves in the foot because... As more people talk about this, and quite honestly, if I was a shareholder with eBay and I found out about this happening over and over and over again, I wouldn't buy much of their stock. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't put my trust into their stock. And I think that's what's going to hurt them in the end if their platform doesn't change some way to simplify and to protect the buyer. Oh, I'm sorry, the seller. So, Guys, just think about that. Before you go out there and before you get mad and, and say negative things, first, I just want you to think about how grateful you should be that you have the ability in the first place because this wasn't around in my younger years, wasn't around when my mother was working, wasn't around when my grandpa and grandma were out there working. Never in our life's history before have we had the opportunity to do what it is that we're doing today. So for me to sit around and complain about it and call eBay and go, hey, what are you going to do for me? How are you going to credit me? Because, you know, it, we're just, we just live in that type of world where we want um, what we want. We want to be justified in, in our means of getting our point across. So before I go out and start complaining on this one, I'm just going to say, eBay, it's all on you. It's all on you. If people choose not to get on the platform, because of the glitches that they hear about, then it's your fault, eBay. Not ours, but yours. So when a better platform comes along and wipes you off the map, you'll know why. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a blessed one. I'll see you in the next one. Thrifty Christian, I'm out.